Ashes of Creation has just shocked everybody by announcing server meshing. That's what it seems. It's going to be pretty huge. So let's jump in and let's talk about it. So the live stream on June 28th is going to be this. And it's at 11 a.m. Pacific, which is 7 p.m. UK time. And it says the next live stream featuring Alpha 2 server meshing technology is going to be live at those dates. And this is massive, right? This is absolutely huge, depending on what they mean. So you might be aware that some MMOs have like mega servers. And on the mega server, what typically happens is that there's layers, which are different servers, basically, but they're somewhat connected. Or different parts of the map are also on different servers. But recently, Star Citizen showed off its concept of server meshing, which I'm not claiming that they invented it, by the way, but that's just when it came on my radar. And they're basically taking this idea of one server having multiple servers to an nth degree. So instead of maybe like one zone or one layer being a different server, what you can have is an adaptive size of this server depending on the number of people. This is quite complicated to explain and I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I'll try my best. Let's say in an MMO, you have two zones. In some games, it's probably possible to make each zone its own separate server. But what server meshing is trying to do and I'm assuming this is the implementation that Ashes of Creation is going to adopt, is that one zone might actually be broken up into multiple servers within that zone, but only when needed, because otherwise it would be very wasteful. So let's say there's only one person in that zone. It might be that there's just one server there. But now let's say you scale that up and you put 3,000 people into one normal sized zone, well, the game will obviously struggle. And not only will that happen, but all the other servers might struggle as well because maybe they'll try and pick up the slack, etc. So instead, if there's 3,000 people in one zone, what they do is they break it up into smaller bits. But it needs to be adaptive. So the more people there are, the smaller these server pockets are, and the better, in theory, will your network performance be. Now, I don't know if that's what Ashes of Creation is going to do. They might just talk about server meshing being like, okay, each zone is going to be one server. And if that's the case, that's fine. But if they're going to go the full Star Citizen route, where one server can adaptively change depending on the number of people there, and they could all be instanced, by the way, seamlessly, like it can literally be that there's 200 people on one server, and you can see across a river, and across that river is another 200 people. You can see them, but they might be on a different server, the servers are just communicating. Now, this technology obviously is perfect for an MMO because it still keeps that MMO feeling instead of having layers and completely disconnected servers that another world is on. You can actually have it so that one server can hold a lot more people. Well, not one server, but you know what I mean. The concept of server meshing is fantastic. The delivery will have to wait and see for the details. The fact that they're making this its own live stream sort of suggests to me they might be going the Star Citizen route. And if they're doing that, well, this is going to get very, very interesting. It's one of these things where like, I'm not really that familiar with the technology at the moment. It's not like there's a current game that I can say, let's all go and try this. Currently, most MMOs will typically have like layers, might have technology where each zone is instanced and then you sort of teleport between these instances and the instances are on different servers or some of that server is offloading some of the hard work. But we don't have this idea of this adaptive network where the server sizes are changing depending on how many people are there. You know, if there's nobody in a the zone, then you don't really need that many servers, do you? But if they're all the server is in one little area, then getting that to be performant would be very difficult. Now, I don't know how hard it is to implement this technology. I don't know if Unreal Engine makes it a little bit easier. Star Citizen isn't using Unreal Engine, so I don't know if that's relevant here or not. But it's definitely a technology that I'm very much interested in. I wouldn't have thought that Ashes of Creation was like a key game that would need it simply because the world's going to be big, people are going to be spread around. But what it will enable are these very like hype server moments where a lot of people are gathered in a small area. Maybe the wars, maybe the world bosses, etc. All in all, I am very, very excited about this. Now, I just want to quickly talk about my previous video where I was talking about how Ashes of Creation might try and swerve World of Warcraft's expansion, which is coming in August. Since then, we've had the Throne on Liberty announced date. That's going to be 17th of September. I'm very curious, and I know most people don't think this will happen, but I sort of do think it will happen, if they will now try and delay Alpha 2. Simply put, 
unless they're going to launch it in July or maybe early August, there is a lot going on. Now maybe they want to do Alpha 2 sort of quietly because you can't even buy Alpha 2. But if they want to use it as some kind of like marketing and intrigue in the game to show it off, then you'd want to avoid both those things. Not because Soul and Liberty or WoW is necessarily direct competition, but because the MMO gamer audience will be distracted a little bit. A lot of the content creators and a lot of people, to be honest, they want to play a game that's actually out, which Throne of Liberty will be, versus one that is in the Alpha 2, or maybe it'll just distract from the information and the positive from Alpha 2. So I think that could still happen. Obviously, they're not going to put that in the title of the live stream. Whether or not we hear something next Friday, well, we'll find out. I'll not go on more about this server meshing idea because it's hard to explain. We really need to see what they're planning. I'll be curious to see how they demonstrate it first and foremost. Are they just going to talk about it or are they going to show something? Is it going to be a PowerPoint presentation? You know what? Let's find out. For now, what I hope I find out is that you've hit the like button and the subscribe button. I mean, do it if you want to. I also hope I find out that you have a most beautiful day. I can subscribe. Goodbye. Ah, big shout out to my Patreons. Come watch me on Twitch. Bye.